uh, we were part of the Kingston middle class. When my m sister looked into the crib and saw me, she said, where did you get this coolie baby from? Because, as you know, within that family, mm. there was, you know, every shade. My mother was the fairest, my brother was almost as fair as her, my sister was a bit darker, mm. I was distinctly darker, much closer to my father and my father's family. Mm. So I had the sense from God knows when <laughs> that, you know, I was a f kind of anomaly there and didn't quite fit. I didn't understand anything about race or colour. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm talking about very early on. Mm -hmm. If I showed you, I can't find it, but I have a picture of myself at about six, sitting on the steps of our house with an air rifle, mm -hmm. and I do look, A, depressed, and B, murderous. You know, I, I'm about to shoot somebody, I don't know who or what for. I never felt at home in that place, mm -hmm. never felt alone. Their aspirations for me were not my aspirations. They saw me in a way and I didn't see myself. And that was very much because of their attitude to the rest of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You know, they were in the struggle to identify as that middle class did at that stage, will the colonial power, with England, you know, my mother really thought she was English, mm -hmm. so sort of some genetic error <laughs> had occurred mm -hmm. to make her not English.